is a quick video. Um, this is just to go over how you can get the date from the JSON file. Um, for example, this one is a DTM date. And as you can see in the specification, there's a thousand plus codes. So it's really annoying to go one by one. So that's why I have this JSON file to get into, so we can load it in .NET here. We can read the file and then parse it and read from it and look for it, do lookups. So one thing that you could do is copy this table, this HTML table, and come here to this site. There's so many, but this is just one of them. And you can paste your HTML uh, table here. It did kind of struggle. It's a lot. It's a thousand plus rows. So eventually finish and you can download the JSON file. So that's what I did here. This is the file. So let me go back up and find the Excel file here. So this is what we're trying to accomplish. In the first video, I show you how you can get uh, from A to L, no, from to K. And then this video will cover basically these three columns, how you can get that here. So here we go. Um, as you can see on this portion of the code in here, this is a new line. I'm basically reading that JSON file that I have here on the right. And to do that is basically just reading the file. For some reason, I have a lot of trouble reading this file. Not this specific file, but this one. Some characters that I can't even see, but anyways, to avoid wasting time, this is the one that actually works, that specific file. They can then you deserialize. <clears throat> Here's the class, it's pretty simple. Code and description, because that's what we have here, code and description. So the idea is I wanna know what does 025 mean in the Excel file? So this is what uh, this video is about to find out really easy. So here in the export data, yes, another thing I did was rename this method. Instead of export items, it's just export data. So that's the only difference I did. I did create another stream builder here because it's really easy to uh, copy data. So here what I'm doing is passing so I'm reading the file, the description, into an object. And then, oh, this is just for testing. As you can see, you can ask, what's 001 mean? And it will tell you. But we don't need it right now. So down here, uh, here's the code. So it's this line. From 79 down to 99, that's the line. There's some white spaces here, but you get the idea. So you do the same thing. You look for the DTM, make sure it's not null. And then you use a for um, loop here. And we're gonna do minus one because if you take this off, uh, it's not gonna work. Because there's only, let me see where's the file right here. So zero and one, zero and one, but when you say count, it gives you two. So you gotta take one off in order for this to work. So as you can see here, uh, you always are gonna get the code in zero index and the one, the date. So that's for sure, according to this, zero and one. So you know zero is the code and then one is the actual date. So anyways, uh, we need to know what the description is. So here, what I'm doing is passing the code into this array, basically, that we have from the JSON file. And then make, we're making sure we're not null here. And then we're passing this value to the stream builder. So we have description, the limiter, the date, the limiter, and then the description. So now we know what that code means and the date. What is the date for? And down here, in order to get it into the CSV file, uh, let me see where did I go. Oh, right here. This is the line I just added it. 
So we're gonna before we do the line return, we're gonna do we're gonna add the dates basically to every row. And that keeps it simple. So once you run that, then you get what you have, what I have here in the Excel file. You get the code and the the date in the description. So this is just a sample uh, code, you know, so you can play with it. Uh, I think here you could probably this since Excel removes the leading zeros, but I'm sure they're there. Let me see if we can confirm that. Here's the file. It's kind of small. Let's see. Uh, stop. Okay. Let's see. Yeah. Zero zero two. So the CSV CSV file does have it, but you know how Excel tries to help you and removes those. But yeah, the data is right here. The date is also here. It's, it's in this format. Would be nice. It would be, for example, like that or slash or something else. But it could be another video or somebody needs that. Let me know. Okay. Thank you for watching.